There's a new head of New Jersey Transit. The question is, can he solve the problem? Recently, it was reported that they are not even close to hitting their deadline on basic safety upgrades like positive train control, which could literally save lives. Ashley Johnson has the full story. Ashley, what do you got? NJ Transit voted in its new head as a progress report shows the agency failed to fully implement positive train control to prevent crashes. At NJ Transit's board meeting Wednesday, former AECOM executive Kevin Corbett was approved to become NJ Transit executive director. The board members, as you know, executive director Santoro has submitted his resignation and I am recommending today the appointment of an executive director. This action item will appoint Kevin S. Corbett as the executive director of New Jersey Transit, who will serve at the pleasure of the board of directors effective February 19th, 2018 at the salary of $280,000. Job one is always safety. So we've heard today a lot about um, PTC from our commenters. And we're very focused on that. And so we'll continue to have job one be safety. Um, whether it's here or at DOT or any of the other transportation agencies. Bo spoke on Corbett hitting the ground running with NJ Transit getting up to speed with positive train control. NJ Transit is required by the end of the year to have the technology installed on more than 400 trains and a thousand employees are supposed to be trained on it. As of the end of December, only 35 trains have the technology. We've ordered new locomotives. So forget the number, but uh, dual powered locomotives. So we're in the process of, uh, of resolving that, that element of, of delayed trains and on-time performance. But Bill, the question of the day is, if Governor Chris Christie had not cut millions from NJ Transit, would the agency be in the predicament that it's in? Santoro declined to comment. In Newark, I'm Ashley Johnson, reporting for Chasing News.